So much, and yes, a lot of people can relate to everything you just said. And now, let's show you this here. All right, so what you're looking at right here, this blue, yeah, these are common dolphins chasing fish. So that's what's happening just to the north of San Diego. A photographer, Mark Girardeau, was on a boat with Newport Coastal Adventure. He captured these dolphins taking advantage of the glowing fish. And then you see in the wake right there how blue it gets. He said in this post on Sunday, it's so incredible that the footage really does not do it any justice. So you got to see it for yourself. It's not too far from us where he was seeing this. Tiny marine algae caused this bioluminescence. And in this morning's Earth 8 report, we're taking a deep dive into the latest research. If you've searched San Diego's beaches or anything you see San Diego, then you may have come across the work of Eric Jepson, the campus photographer. He's often drawn to the coastline, capturing its beauty with his lens. And of all the photos he's taken in his lifetime, bioluminescence are among his favorite. When there's like a really powerful blue, yeah, you can just like go to the shore and just like kick the water and uh, it, it lights up blue. It's, it's really cool to see. Especially proud of this image, a wave lighting up as a surfer glides through phytoplankton. My favorite photo actually from from here uh, at Scripps is during the bioluminescence. Uh, just watching the the surfers, it's like, got to be very difficult to catch a wave at night. But Eric says it's not as difficult to catch the bioluminescence as it used to be. Before, like I, like a decade ago, you'd see the bioluminescence like once every like three years or like two years, but now you see it like three or four times a year. So the, the frequency of it is definitely increased. The reason behind the more frequent findings is something researchers at Scripps Institution of Oceanography are looking into. We're still trying to understand how these uh, events are changing as our oceans change. Drew Lucas is a researcher at Scripps and with the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. And in his team's research, they discovered some fascinating behavior by the glow-causing phytoplankton. The specific plankton is called L. polyedra, and it's smaller than a human hair, but faster than a mako shark, going 10 body lengths per second and doing so for 18 or more hours. The analogy I might use is a sort of the Michael Phelps of the phytoplankton world. Even faster, it's even faster than Michael Phelps, because even Michael Phelps can't keep up with a, with a mako shark. They're fast and they swim up and down from the surface of the ocean to the sea floor. From the surface down to deeper than 100 feet over the course of an afternoon. Using this tool called the wire walker, Drew and his team can follow the El Polyedra. They discovered during the day they photosynthesize by being close to the ocean surface, gaining energy from the sun. That's when you may see that rusty reddish color, a sign of a big bloom. And after sunset, many of them take deep dives in search of nutrients, but not all go down at once, which is why you see the blue glow, appearing when the El Polyedra get agitated. All of this new research is based off the 2020 bloom, one of the strongest ever recorded at Scripps. Prime conditions then included warmer temperatures and calm conditions. Once they get cooking, um, they can dominate. So dominant, they become the only plankton players. The bloom of 2020 lasted more than two months, but when they died off, so can fish and other marine life. As the algae decomposes, it takes away oxygen from the water, essentially suffocating life below it. It really can change our coastal ecosystem. And so our ability to measure that and to monitor that really ha it really projects onto our ability to protect, um, you know, what is an incredibly valuable resource for us here in San Diego. That's why Drew is constantly trying to create new measuring tools, spending months at sea to learn more about the ocean. And we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the bottom of the ocean. And that is really evocative of the fact that the ocean is still, you know, it's vast, it's very deep, it's a very difficult environment um, to get measurements from. And so, yeah, we're still really in the exploration phase, which is very exciting. Exploration is something Eric also appreciates, which is why you'll likely see him on campus or at the beach, snapping photo after photo using his keen eye to show that science is beautiful. And the best time to see that bioluminescence a couple hours after sunset at 9 or 10 p.m. They have been lighting up our coast over the past few days, especially to the north there in Orange County. So tonight could be your lucky night to catch the blue glow. But researchers don't always know how long these blooms will last. So just a heads up. It's